Hey there, welcome back to Distinct Worlds. Uh, as you notice, it is just me today. Uh, this is because this is a special video because I am going to now reveal what the secret trip is that I have for Jen. Um, on May 12th, the day that I'm uploading this video, we are going on the Walt Disney World Backstage Magic Tour. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, Backstage Magic Tour is a seven hour tour. Uh, it takes you all over the Walt Disney World property. Uh, you get to go backstage into the different areas and see what Disney does to make the magic for the tourists out in the parks or at the resort hotels or wherever they are on property. Um, so what made me want to do this i know jen likes to see the back the magic behind everything uh it was something i had been looking at before i was looking at several other tours as well uh i was looking at like the epcot backstage magic uh we're doing the uh the animal kingdom backstage tales we were looking at the steam train tour we were looking at all these different tours that we could do but you know, within, within our time constraint, we were kind of limited. You know, like I mentioned, we are doing the Animal Kingdom Backstage Tales. Um, we're really looking forward to that. We're actually doing that um, in a few days on Jen's birthday. Uh, we just have to figure out how to get from the Wilderness uh, Lodge to Animal Kingdom very early in the morning. Uh, something tells me Uber or Lyft are going to come very much into play while we're out there. Um, so for this tour, uh, we have a few different things that we're going to be have, we're going to have access to. Uh, it starts at nine o'clock in the morning at Epcot. From there, we're going to go back into the American Inn, uh, Adventure Pavilion. Uh, we're going to go backstage and we're going to see the audio animatronics that go into making the show. Uh, I think this is actually the highlight for both of us. We, Jen loves this show. Uh, I don't mind going seeing it. It's a fun, you know, it's a good, you know, 20 minute break from everything else. And if I'm tired, I can just nap out. While well, she's entertained. And so we'll get to go back in there. Um, the next stop, I think, is the Magic Kingdom, where we will go into the Utilidors and learn about the Utilidor system. And I don't know what else we're doing there. From there, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna guess, we're gonna go for lunch. Uh, lunch is going to be uh, at Whispering Canyon for, and it's the all you can eat family style uh, barbecue lunch that they serve there. So that's not too bad. We're off to a great start. From there, I know what originally was supposed to be and then what it turned out with and then in the past week they've changed up how this tour is going so I, I actually hem and hawed going do I want to still go on this tour let's still go on the tour because what's the worst that can happen we have a horrible time and I just wasted some money um, not some money, a lot of money, but let's not go there quite yet. Um, we'll review this uh, tour afterwards. Um, what should have happened was we were going to go to either, uh, we were probably going to go to Disney's Animal Kingdom and meet with Wild Africa Trek guides. Um, that has since changed. Uh, it looks like we are now going to creative costuming. Uh, the description, I'm going to read this verbatim from their web website. Observe the talented professionals who design costumes for characters, show, and parade performers. It could be cool. Um, for Jen, not so much. But, you know, it... it I don't want to go into that too much right now. It, it's it's going to be something that we're going to sit down and review afterwards. Um, I'm 
and we'll talk more about that in a minute. And then from there, we were supposed to wrap up. Um, actually, there were supposed to be two more stops, and they cut it down to one stop. So there's a total of four stops. Uh, previously, it was five stops plus lunch. Uh, and the last one is Central Shops. Again, we get cl up close with the artisans uh, whose skill and craftsmanship make dreams come true all around the park, from the tiniest details to elaborate stage sets. This could be kind of cool um, to see that uh, it was already part of the tour. Uh, so we lost uh, Animal Kingdom, but we also lost Disney's uh, Hollywood Studios, which was going to take us into the, uh, the maintenance bay for Hollywood Tower of Terror. That would be a me thing. I'm a, I, I love this ride. I love Florida's version of the ride. It's, I think it's better than ours here in California, uh, because it, you actually get to, you know, go up and then you go through to get to the actual, um, the, uh, yeah, the shaft for where you go. So, um, I'm kind of bummed that we're not getting to see that but we'll see um so yeah and then we end up back at epcot and it'll be about the time for us to uh make our way through epcot to international gateway over the yachtsman club and go to dinner depending on the timing of when the tour ends uh and our dinner reservation at uh, yachtsman steakhouse is we're gonna figure out do I have enough time to decompress and maybe put out some thoughts on video? Uh, maybe we'll periscope it and we'll answer questions. I don't know yet. Um, one of the big things is, yes, it's $255 a person. Um, there are discounts for annual pass holders. There's a discount for DVC uh, members. Uh, we're a DVC member. Um, if I remember right, it's 15%. I think, I'm pretty sure it's 15%. Uh, there is a cast member discount. I don't remember the percentage. We are using the cast member discount for this event. Um, it, it's something that, you know, if I have a chance to use uh, my wife's uh, discount I will use it um, and this is one of those events that I'm like yeah let's use it because $255 times two is what $510 that's a very expensive tour uh, for two of us for an entire day but uh, I wanted to make something that was different I didn't want us to be uh, let's go spend three hours or two hours and do this over at this park and then we're like stuck at that park all day We do get you know special buses shuttles whatever around the resort uh, They feed us apparently they're giving us water, you know for hydration purposes They're they're not you know just gonna drag us from one place to one to, to the next to the next you know uh, We've done other tours before. Uh, we've done the dolphin experience. I loved that experience. Uh, all this had to come out, um, but it was still a lot of fun. Um, we've done the Wild Africa Trek, as I've mentioned uh, before. Maybe I haven't mentioned it before. Uh, we did that back in uh, October of 2014 and we had a blast i think that was one of the best tours that we've ever been on uh this one we're doing the backstage tales at animal kingdom uh for jen's birthday yeah we're just gonna have you know we try to do we want to try to do at least one tour trip uh i'm going out of my way i wanted to make this one special and it was special and then disney opted to change it so at this point in time, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but 
that's going to be for us to figure out afterwards. Uh, it, it's going to be an interesting one. So either we are going to decompress, put our thoughts together, and put out the results of the tour uh, between the end of the tour and our dinner reservation. Uh, who knows? We might record sitting in the uh, cruise cup. Or we're going to decompress and record after dinner. Um, that's it for now. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about the tour, ask them below and we'll do our best to answer them after we're done with the tour. Um, let's see here. That's about it. I can't think of anything else. Uh, I, I've got to get ready. I'm going, getting ready to head out to go to Dapper Bats Day. So talk to you all later. Bye.